Alright, so on to the final again. Uh, how do you feel about that? Um, <laughs> um, I feel good. It was, I was telling someone else, it was really odd. The beauty of being in the third heat is that you always get to see the times ahead of you. Yeah. Um, and when we were in the call room, they wouldn't let us look at the screens because they said it was an unfair advantage. And I was like, that's that's the point of being in the third heat. That's the rule of the sport is right. that that's it's not an unfair, like it's not cheating right. to do that. So I was running that heat blind. I knew the first heat had gone slow, but I didn't know um, how fast I had to go. And I'm, uh, you know, I was hoping to sit behind people and not have to work. And that first K was so slow. And then that second K, I took over a little bit, but didn't really want to, um, you know, give too much effort. So we had to close a little bit fast to kind of get it down to a small group. And again, I didn't know if I needed to run 9.25, was that the qualifier or uh, not. So the last 100, I was uh, trying to get in that top three and not be in fourth. Right. Do you think there should have been more auto spots? Like six is a lot of time qualifiers to have. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, maybe four, 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 and three right. <laughs> um, would make the most sense. But um, to be honest, the women's steeple is, is so top heavy right now with, with the Kenyans and um, Ruth Jabet. And after, you know, the 920 mark, it really um, drops off. There's a big group of women running between 922 and 916. And so um, I don't know if that different qualifying way would help or hurt those women but uh it's a pretty top heavy you know 920 and down is there's a ton of women so it's, it's a great out but yeah. it's still tough to medal what do you think the chances are yeah i mean Greeby's obviously upgraded to the olympic champion she's always good but she hasn't been a factor up on the podium the last um you know at the olympics or in the diamond league races the last um year or two so the you never, you know, want someone to be hurt, and I wish she was here racing with us. But the the favorites are definitely the the Kenyans and Ruth. Um, so that's kind of where my focus is. Is there anything in particular you're looking to work on between now and the final that you really want to focus on? Right now, it's just changing out of wet clothes and getting good recovery. And the the great thing about these meets is USATF has the best medical staff in the in the world and. Um, we work with these same physios and um, PTs and massage therapists, sorry, all year round. So I'm going to go hop on the table and get a massage right now and rest up and then just start kind of visualizing what I want for Friday's race. You know, especially during the last couple of years, especially with your medal in Rio last last year, you made an effect, really effective transition from being a dominant domestic athlete to somebody who's really influential in the global circuit. How, how have you been able to do that and how much did the medal last year really build your confidence in Africa? The medal is, you know, something I'm very, very proud of and, um, and, ha and happy to have. But um, going all the way back to 2014, I was battling for the win in a lot of Diamond Leagues. Right. And it wasn't a championship year, but that year was really when I started seeing myself yes. in the top of the game, um, in the top of, you know, the, the top group of women. And the steeplechase really changed the last 18 months, and I don't feel like I have a guaranteed spot anywhere on that podium just because of that bronze medal. You know, I have to work for it every day, and um, am, like I said, going to start kind of resting and recovering and getting ready to, to attack that first Friday. No! Oh my god, that makes me so sad. I really, really love Colleen and, um, you know, the whole Bowerman group. We're, we're friendly and group for each other. So that breaks my heart. And it, it's always so sad to see someone who um, truly deserves to be in that final, who's, who's in the top half, you know, the top 13, 12 women of, in the world consistently. And, um, you know, she deserves to be in that final. And it's so upsetting that something like that um, happened. But it's... Uh, sadly, part of the sport, but I'll be I'll be giving her some hugs and hoping to um, you know keep her head up for the next few races after the season. Do you have a preference of fast uh, versus slow race in the final? Um, I think it's going to be fast. I think I'm ready for it to be fast. I think the the Beatrice is ran 8:28 for a flat 3k in Monaco, so she's one of the best worlds flat out right now. 
one of the best runners in the world flat out, so I think she's going to go and make it fast. Um, but yeah, I got to go. All right, thank you.